Hi guys, uh, welcome to another uh, video tutorial on uh, developing a website using uh, Django. So in our previous tutorial, we were able to create uh, four different pages or, and uh, their templates. And also we were able to add the URL configuration for all the pages. And uh, just before we continue, ensure that you are if you had closed your website, you ensure that your website is running on Docker. And uh, if you don't know how to start or to run your Docker, you can refer to the previous tutorial. As you can see, mine is already running. Uh, you can also check it uh, inside the, the this terminal window by just running Docker PS. You can see that um, I have the database that is running and also i have the the web part that is running and the port number and uh, the details so that said uh, in this tutorial you are going to customize the home page and it's uh, going to be rather short uh, and then uh, the first uh, i'm making reference to bootstrap because you're using bootstrap remember that in our previous tutorial if you refer to the base uh, the base uh, template, you'll see that we have borrowed uh, these, or we are uh, copying the, I mean, we are working with Bootstrap, uh, Bootstrap styling and the uh, JavaScript. So uh, now, because we're in our homepage, uh, what we are going to do is that we are going to navigate into the Bootstrap website, and you're going to look at the examples. I really like working with the Jumbotron. And I had already downloaded these, uh, the, the examples that have already been provided. Uh, so I'm just going to find out, find where the Jumbotron is. This is where it is. And uh, my intention is for the homepage to look like this. And uh, basically what I'm going to do, since I already, I've already downloaded this, uh, this example has every, all these items here that you can use to customize your page or your website. So I already have it downloaded. So I'm going to work, uh, go to the, navigate to the folder. And then there is this Jumbotron. And I'm just going to open it in my folder, in my uh, browser. So this is how it looks like. So there are two ways to it. Uh, you can right click on your page and uh, right click uh, sorry you can right click on your page and uh, click on inspect and uh, it will uh, open this page that looks like uh, this page that looks like uh, it has a code on the on the left side yours may be up or on the right depending on the settings that are there on your browser and uh, mine was actually on mobile, what you call the mobile view. Okay. But you can change it by clicking on this. I'm using Microsoft Edge browser. So maybe your browser has something else. So I'm just moving, changing from mobile view into the uh, full browser view. And uh, you notice that we have all these elements here. So the only elements that I'm interested in are, is this uh jumbotron or this big part on the top and the left and the right uh kind of uh, sections so whenever i move my cursor on these elements you can see that this is what we have so i will begin by i'm not interested in the head i'm interested in this jumbotron so you can right click if you are using microsoft edge and then you can copy element and then you can navigate into your home page inside the code and you can uh, let's just replace this home page because we do not need it and you can paste this uh, div element that we have copied and then you can try and uh, refresh your home page if you're in your home page and you notice that now we have this uh, jumbotron and uh, you can also go back to your page or your browser so if you can go back to your browser and you can copy the second element here. You can see the highlight inside the browser. So you can copy this element and then you can also paste it after this div element that we just added here. 
So do not add it inside, you can add it after. So we have two div elements inside our block. I forgot to mention, you need to add them inside this block content. So if I go to my homepage and refresh, you'll see that we have added these items. Uh, one more thing that I could say that we have forgotten is a footer. And uh, before we add the footer, this is one way of adding this. And uh, the second uh, way of adding it, uh, let's see if I can be able to uh, open the this particular file inside the PyCharm. Uh, maybe I'll have to copy this path. And then I can click on it's called Jumbotron, and I can open it. Yep, so now I can be able to, my interest is these two div elements that are inside the, I'm not interested in the header, I'm interested with these two div elements that are inside here. Actually, I can see there are three div elements, so let me just copy them. Uh, After the, they, they come after the header and uh, before the footer. And my ID seems to have hanged. So let me just copy that. And then I'll go back to my home page. I can, I'm using Control Z to return as I, it was before and then I'll just paste and save. And then if I refresh the page, this is what you see, we, have, we still have the same elements. Now, the item that we do not have is the footer. And uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm equally going to copy the footer, but this footer I'm going to add it, I'm going to copy it from the same file, which is index.html. And, but I'm going to copy it into the base template so that all the pages can have a, can have the footer. And this footer, I'm going to uh, copy it, I paste it inside here. And for the date, I'm going to replace it so that it reflects the date of the current year. However, you can add some JavaScript uh, code to update the year or to update, but we're not going to do that right now. So if I refresh my page, you can see that we have the footer element and we have the our home page. Okay. So now we can play around with these uh, values. We can probably add this as a welcome message. So I'll go back to my HTML uh, home page or home template and then and just say welcome to my my website and then for this one we can probably add some content there or for now let's just leave it as it is it's just let's refresh you can see that we have welcome to my to my website and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll think of what we'll add onto these uh, pages. So for this button, we can probably uh, put a type something here. We can call it sign up. Can add a, can we look for the button class? Here it is. Can probably add uh, sign up. And then for these other elements, we can probably add, uh, this is a H2 element. So maybe I can add, please visit our, our blog section. Blog section. Let's say visit our blog. And then for this other one, you can add maybe contact, contact us. And then 
can uh, just do a refresh and you'll see that we have this sign up. You are welcome to my website, visit our blog. And we can also add, uh, we have these contactors. And then maybe we can add something else inside here. Uh, we'll think about it uh, for now. Maybe we can add blog inside here and contact us in the other button. So while we are to visit our blog, we can add blog. And in this one, you can add contact. So if we refresh, this is what we have. Okay, there's a typo error, contact. Let me just replace that with contact. Uh, contact. We can just contact us. Uh, for this one, you can add uh, blog posts. And now when we have added that, we can just refresh our page so that we have blog posts and contact us. Uh, now I can see we have some kind of black and white items. So for this, this Jumbotron is uh, gray. And you can see we have a shade, uh, we have this area with this div which is black. So I would so that we can have a matching item we can I can add uh, I can tell the CSS for this header to be black. So what I can do I can just come into my base folder and then you notice that inside the nav bar we have light. So I'm just going to let's see what happens when I add a dark background and then I do a refresh. So we have a dark background, but the text here is also uh, black and it's not visible. And uh, this is not very, very nice. So we can just equally add this into dark and see what possibly we get. Yep, so we have a uh, at least now we can be able to view our items. So in then uh, this uh, summarizes the uh, this tutorial. We have been able to customize our homepage, and in the next tutorial we are going to look at how we can customize our about page. Uh, we'll probably borrow something from these Bootstrap uh, elements, and then because it's a bit easier to do that, and uh, so we'll see what we can add onto the about page. Uh, and you can see one thing that uh, worth mentioning is that you can notice that the footer is present in all the pages uh, because uh, we have added it into the base onto the base template. So all these other templates are inheriting from the base template. And uh, this uh, brings us to the end of this tutorial. Uh, if you like these uh, videos, or if you like my videos, uh, please. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Uh, you can also like my videos. You can support by liking my videos and uh, also sharing with others. And don't forget to click the bell icon so that whenever I upload uh, new content, uh, you can be able to get a notification. You can be the first to be notified or among the first to be notified. So thank you for watching.